I invite you to rise. We gather in the name of our creator, Christ and spirit. We gather to give thanks for Kay Lynn Reardon, that she has been brought into the fullness of God. We gather to comfort one another in our grief, to commend her to our redeemer, and to give thanks for her life. Amen. Gather us in, O oh God, and hold us forever. You'll, you'll find this hymn in that red hymnal in front of you. Kay's public life in Christ began here at the baptismal font and shines forever through the light of Christ. Hear these baptismal words from the Apostle Paul. When we were, bap when we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized into his death. We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Creator, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We pray. God of grace and glory, we remember before you today our sister Kay. We thank you for giving her to, for, to us to know and to love as a companion in our pilgrimage on earth. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. 
Give us faith to see that death has been swallowed up in the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ, so that we may live in confidence and hope until by your call we are gathered to our heavenly home in the company of all your saints. This we pray through Jesus Christ. Amen. You're up. <clears throat> Tim asked me to read these words and express his feeling, his thoughts. Kay never really talked about this service. It seemed she didn't want to discuss it. She changed the subject whenever I tried to find out her wishes, except for two things. She did make it clear that she wanted to be cremated. And over many years, she made it very clear that a particular song had to be played at any memorial service for her. This song is performed by the Eagles, and it is called, I Dreamed There Was No War. She didn't offer any explanation as to why this song or how it came to resonate so strongly with her. Maybe she just found it soothing. To me, it brings up images of rolling hills and green meadows, very pastoral. Have a listen. Thank you.
we have some more remembrances, so I invite you to right up here for the microphone. Very good. Good morning. Um, my name is Kay Cook, and I am Tim's sister. Um, several years back, when our sister, Mary, passed away, uh, Tim and Kay were there for us, and at our sister's funeral, Kay offered a little poem. So, Keith and Christy, from your sister, I would like to offer this same little poem for you guys. I found a penny today, just lying on the ground, but it's not just a penny, this little coin I've found. Found pennies come from heaven, or so it's been told to me. Angels toss them down, how I love that story. It's said when an angel misses you, they toss a penny down, sometimes it's just to cheer you up to make a smile out of a frown. So don't pass by that penny when you're feeling blue. It may be a penny from heaven that a loved one's tossed to you. And God we trust is not just a phrase printed on a penny. It's something to remember when your troubles seem like many. So when you're down and feel broken and your energy is all spent, that penny on the sidewalk may be truly heaven sent. Thank you, Kay. A reading from the book of Romans. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? No, in all of these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. With Lutheran DNA in her blood, Kay started life in Rock Rapids, Iowa. Thank you, Keith and Christy, for sharing a little bit about your growing up years, your shenanigans in this small farming town. You'll have to ask Keith later, raise your hand in case you don't know Keith. You'll have to ask Keith later um, about the green and black, right? Volkswagen bug, pretty uh, identifiable in a small town. Um, that he and Kay had to figure out how to share. They had one vehicle between the two of them as teenagers. And the two of them worked out a great schedule, but in hindsight, Kay should have shared it with the local sheriff. <laughs> Kay followed Keith here to Albuquerque, where her teaching career blossomed and where she met you, Tim. Tim, you moved here from New York to work for your brother's construction company, and the two of you landed, just so happened, to land in the same apartment complex. Her first thoughts of you, however, earned you the nickname Thumper <laughs> because you were such a demonstrative sports fan, and she would leave her apartment on game days. However, even with that history and not being a farmer, her recovering from a skiing accident and you helping to schlep her groceries in one day led to a 35 beautifully filled life together. And of course, it would have been many more. But we all know there are no guarantees for any of us for the length of time that we have on this earth. 
For you, saying yes to life together was the best leap of faith ever. And may every couple choosing a commitment together to go at life together live that legacy. Myra, I think you said it, that Kay was one remarkable human being. She was an excellent listener, excellent friend, excellent spouse, loyal and uber dependable. She was strong and independent, some might say stubborn. And Sean, you received a healthy portion of her smarty pants uh, sense of humor. <laughs> Sassy, quirky, creative, and simple was simply not in her vocabulary. She made every birthday and holiday memorable. And Caitlin, you finally recall those times in the summer of helping her to close out her classroom and all kinds of uh, activities that ensued in those hallways. And I'm not sure, I know there was some discussion about the, I don't know how old is the fruit cake now, um, <laughs> but may the tradition of it sneakily passing along to different family members continue. Kay had a huge zest for life, never said no, was adventurous beyond measure, and she was a fighter. It was a long four plus years with one big health diagnosis after another. But Tim, as you said, she did not lose the fight, rather she left behind a disease-riddled body and moved on to the heaven of her faith. It is her victory. She was fearless, she accepted things as they came, and when there were no more steps to take, she held her dignity. And she looked forward to catching up with her mom and others who had already gone before her. It's why the text in Romans was selected, that in all of that, in all the sickness, in all the difficult diagnoses, in all the surgery, all the recoveries from surgery, and even in death, God was and is with her. And today, while we grieve her death, we trust God that in all these things, Kay is more than victorious through God who has loved her to hell and back and brought her into a fullness we have yet to know, but will someday. Nothing can separate us from God and God's love. Lean in on that promise. And while we still have breath in this life, we have work yet to do. And this has become my mantra at every service because it is so true. We've work to do, we've got faith to live out, we've got hope to live into, and we've got love to share. Amen? Amen. 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 Neither death nor life. I invite us to rise um, as we sing this next hymn, hymn 622.
join us in a time of prayer. You'll hear a number of petitions uh, ending with Lord in your mercy and I invite our response to be hear our prayer. We pray. Almighty God, in holy baptism, you have knit your chosen people together into one communion of saints in the body of Christ. Give to your whole church in heaven and on earth your light and your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Through Christ's death and resurrection, grant that all may die to sin and rise to share new life in Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant to us who are still in our pilgrimage and who walk as yet by faith that where the world groans in grief and pain, your Holy Spirit may lead us to bear witness to your light and life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Help us in the midst of things we cannot understand to believe and trust in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of, to life everlasting. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. God of grace, we give you thanks because by his death, our Savior, Jesus Christ, destroyed the power of death and by his resurrection opened the kingdom of heaven to all. Make us certain that because he lives, we shall live also, and that neither death, nor life, nor things present, nor things to come will be able to separate us from your love in Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, we offer the prayer our Savior taught us. And there are a number of versions out there, so feel free to offer the words that are familiar to you, but uh, the words that we have printed are the ones that I will share. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us commend Kay to the mercy of God, our maker and our redeemer. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant Kay, a sinner of your own redeeming, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock. Receive her into the arms of your mercy, into the promise of everlasting life, and into the company of all your saints in light. Amen. God be with you till we meet again. Hymn 536.
Please join the family down the long hallway to the fellowship hall where there are all kinds of uh, refreshments and goodies. Children of God, go in peace in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God.